What movies did you see? I saw two. Two movies? I think we saw the same movie uh, over the weekend. Yeah. I we saw, were talking about it a little bit. I saw Taken. I saw Taken. I saw Taken. You did? Yeah. Three uh, Taken. I'm, I'm thinking two out of three liked it, just uh, by yeah, the look on your look face. At Jimmy's face. I yeah. loved it. Did you? I swear <laughs> to God, I loved it. Did you? And I'm not an I don't really I'm not a uh, an action guy for the most part you know shoot and kill everything in sight type of type of movie watcher, but that I really liked. I uh, I thought they could have developed the characters a little better. Yeah, but I hated it. I, did Why I, did you hate it? This is the Liam Neeson movie that it seems like the whole world has seen, even though it's not in theaters yet. Because I yeah. was online last night talking about the movie, and everyone's like, "Oh yeah, I saw it last week. I saw it last month." And this movie's been you know been shown all over the world, so. That means a lot, a lot of uh, copies of this, of this movie are out there. Right, Jimmy, who was talking in a weird way you didn't like? <laughs> um, that seems to me how Jimmy distinguishes movies. Does like, this guy whispers? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this guy talks like this. What, what was your big problem with taking? <laughs> Besides the fact that Liam Neeson's hair dye job looked like he uh, just <laughs> it looked like he soaked his well, head with soy sauce. Um, <laughs> all right, well, I said, we're all I'm laughing because that's. Thing. I'm just yeah. like, I'm looking, I'm watching, just going. What did they do yeah. to his hair? They shoe polished it. It looks it's horrible. Black hair, <laughs> and he's no kid. His teeth look gray too, or something. I didn't. I didn't even know. I couldn't. I get noticed past that he had weird, bad teeth too. And Unbelievable. The daughter was a terrible actress. She was terrible. Yeah, yeah. She ran like a retard. Watch when she ran. Dude, I, I that's was, what my girl said too. Why watching. does she run like that? I started laughing as she's running because. She was trying so hard to look like a young girl running, yeah. but it was a retard yeah, run. Right. Like, Dad! Daddy! <laughs> she was trying to, like, uh, portray innocence yes. by running to Daddy like that. Yeah. And then she gets, a, like, a horsey for her birthday. She is a retard. Yeah. He, he, yeah she, she, his ex-wife marries the rich guy, yeah. and he brings a karaoke. It's this handheld, awful karaoke machine. Horrid. And then and then the daughter gets a pony and puts From her new father. Dropped the friggin' thing, yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah, she dropped the karaoke like it was a hot potato. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and, and did the stupid run over to the horsey. To the horsey, yeah. A retard run. He's a CIA, ex-CIA guy. And he's moved to this part of the country to, to be closer to his daughter. To his retarded daughter. I didn't care about their relationship at all. Well, I he, she has to walk him through the kidnapping. He rec it was horrendous. They had to they had to develop the characters a little better. But I I liked it. I I liked it purely on just action. Yeah, the action. was That's ridiculous. it. I didn't care. I didn't care about. I think I even commented on it. Um, on one of the many sites I'm on. It, it's one of those things where it's like I didn't care. I, I, I didn't believe any of that could have happened. No. But I just like the action. I, I Liam Neeson's watching him beat up people is kind of funny with his his soy sauce. And hair. stupid hair doing his. <laughs> <laughs> he's believable when he's beating people up, that's for sure. Yeah. Did you notice that uh, the girl that the daughter went to Paris with was supposed to be just a little older, but she looked like she was pushing 30? Yeah. And acting like she's only 18, 19 years old? And that that took me out of the movie a little bit. but She was like the stereotypical, oh, we're in Europe, let's yeah, yeah, just go crazy. Yeah. Oh, it was so bad. I'm telling you, watch that movie again. I will beat you both out of having any enjoyment of this piece of crap movie. <laughs> I, I, Patrice, I can't even be friends with him anymore for recommending <laughs> oh, really? it. He's my ex-friend. Patrice O'Neill is my ex-friend for recommending that I, movie. I, I liked it, man. Ex-friend. I, I liked it. Taken as in a big dump is <laughs> what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely liked the action uh, sequences. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, the action was good. You know, action is fine. But... And, I, and I said uh, last night that the, they didn't wimp out with the violence because a lot of these movies, it's like there's a lot of shooting, but they don't really show you that that person is actually now dead. Yeah. This movie was like, screw all the rules where everyone's dying in this movie. Everyone. Yeah. yeah. A pretty good movie um, that I saw, and it's available on demand. It's been out for a while, is uh, Eastern Promises. Mm. Um, that's the one with uh, Vigo. Vigo is in it, Russian mob kind of a uh, movie. Okay. And ultra violent, really good, a lot of throat slittings, um, some very graphic cutting off fingers of a body and knocking the teeth out so they could dump the body. Wow. Where it looks pretty realistic and uh, just some ruthless uh, Russian mob stuff. Who's the star in that? Uh, uh, Anyone famous? Vigo. Vigo Morgans, Morton, Mort Mortensen, yeah. I sound like Voss. Vito Mor Morgan Tallstone. Uh, oh, that guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah know, from Lord of right. the Rings. Yeah, I know that Lord guy. Of the Rings guy. You should have said Lord of the Rings guy. 
Lord I don't know, of the Rings I, guy. I don't know most of these guys' names, but you know, I, I know their characters. Vigo, right? Yeah. We Vigo. saw. We also saw uh, Gran Torino over the weekend. Anyone else? I I just YouTubed every single clip where he's racist in it. I right. figured that's all I really needed to see. Um. And pretty goddamn funny just watching him be a real racist. I think they did hold back on a couple of things, but what the hell? <laughs> just, I just saw a picture Danny just put up of, ah, look at Liam of his, hair. Of his soy sauce hair. <laughs> yeah, where can I get that wig? That's a good one. That's awful much height, but the color's not. <laughs> Matches my shoes. Could use the same polish on my head and my platform shoe. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's stupid, too. Ah, oh, you got... You got the hair of an Asian man. <laughs> you got Jackie Chan's wig. That's good. That's so, good. So Jay's impression. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm barely holding on to the fact that I like the movie, but I'm, I'm <laughs> gonna I'm gonna hang in there. Oh, that, I'm gonna hang in there. Hang in there. I'm, I'm trying to hang in there. I liked it. I, I liked it. Brush my sushi against his hair. And make <laughs> sick. Take a chopsticks and dip it in. <laughs> oh, he he bugs me. His dumb daughter. No one ever tells you why he has to go and have this relationship. Uh, you know, hey, if you ever want to come back to the CIA, uh, you know, I'm here. Right. Yeah, and his, but his CIA buddies, like, didn't even help him out. But the story really? but the story itself was good. They just needed to, like, develop it a little more. And then the, I think this would have been a blockbuster hit, right? Yeah. Because obviously he didn't have, his, have time for his daughter. Now he retired, and now he has time. But they don't really show why the, the, the ex-wife hates his guts. Past yeah. the fact that their love life is over, what happened? I think because was he, being... he wasn't there all the time. Yeah, but they didn't really like... develop that. They uh, should have developed that just a little more. They had a quickie conversation about how he was never there for anything. He was always off in some other country doing his CIA stuff. Right. And then he goes out with his CIA friends, you know, a few beers and stuff, and then works with them for some security detail. And then... His daughter's taken. Yeah. And these CIA guys, you'd think they'd all chip in and help him kick some ass. You know what scene? Like, you know the last, uh, well, there's a scene in the movie uh, where he saves the Britney Spears character. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, she's she saved. Like, she was going to be stabbed to death. Yes. And then uh, there's, a, there's a pivotal scene in the movie where they go visit the Britney Spears character. Yeah. And she's supposedly as big as Britney Spears. And she was almost killed. Yeah, and she opens up her front door, and she's living on a regular block. You see cars on the side, you know. She's on in the her side robe, and just like <laughs> just opens the door. Yeah. It's like, why wouldn't she be in a gated community if oh, she that, is as big scene. as Britney got, Spears? Yeah. Yeah. And him and that dumb horse faced daughter of his is just kind of standing there dopedly. <laughs> she wants to be a singer. Yeah, does, does she? she? Yeah. <laughs> she was such a dope. She should put a shotgun in her mouth and sing the blues. <laughs> She's awful. Sing the old toe trigger blues. <laughs> yeah, better that than an actress. Wow, is that awful. I'm hanging in there. I like that. Oh, I hated that movie. There was, oh, God. There, there was a, little, uh, uh, a little bit of hardcore in that movie for you, George yeah, yeah. C. Scott fans. It was. It was a point where he's uh, opening up some doors, and I was expecting him to see his daughter. Are just uh, strung out on heroin, maybe getting pounded. Heron, yeah. Heron, har, and getting pounded, and mm -hmm. him like, turn it off, turn it off. But uh, no, it didn't happen. Of course, she was the one that they don't, you know, string out. Or, right. I don't know. Well, she was I, I was like, eh, it, eh, I like the action. That's what I liked about it. There was, there was some good fights, and, some uh, gunplay. 